Podcasts, The League of Nations, and Easy Company are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is September 30th, 2022. It is the 273rd day of the year. We got 92 days left. It's the 39th Friday in the 39th week and the 9th day of fall. You got 82 days left until winter. If it's your birthday, you're still a Libra. Today is International Podcast Day. International Podcast Day is dedicated to get the word out about this growing media. Podcasts have blown up in the last few years. I used to listen to one I don't know, 10 years ago by a guy named Ira Glass and he'd just tell really cool stories. He's also like a uh, public radio personality. I have a podcast for my channels, which I rarely do anything with. It's something I always want to start doing something with, but I, I never find the time. Someday though, I think it's uh almost like my backup plan to YouTube. If something goes bad, I'll be on podcasts. I don't know, maybe I'll get going on it. But yeah, today is National Podcast Day. Go listen to a podcast. There are several different styles of podcasts. There's the interview. The host of the podcast brings focus to topics by interviewing guests. There's conversational ones where just two or three or four people just sit there and talk about things. They go back and forth. It's like you hear of Joe Rogan's. His is kind of a blend of those two. He has people on to interview, but they're having a conversation about so many other things most of the time, too. There's non-fiction storytelling podcasts. The host tells stories from history, technology, discoveries, and news. Sort of like on this day. Videos. Monologue. That's the kind of ones I do. I basically talk about people I've met and tell their life stories. That's one thing I've always learned. People are willing to tell their life story if you ask them properly and you listen. And in my opinion, those are better than anything that's ever come out of Hollywood. Everyone in their life has some action, they have some comedy, they have some drama. Hopefully they don't have a horror story in there. All right, let's see what else September 30th has given us. 1882, Thomas Edison's first commercial hydroelectric power plant, later known as the Appleton Easton Light Company, begins operation. 1907, the McKinley National Memorial, the final resting place of assassinated U.S. President William McKinley and his family, is dedicated in Canton, Ohio. 1938, the League of Nations unanimously outlaws international bombing of civilian populations. I mean, that's kind of a no-brainer. Shouldn't that just be how it is? 1943, the United States Merchant Marine Academy is dedicated by President Roosevelt. 1954, the United States Navy submarine USS Nautilus is commissioned as the world's first nuclear-powered vessel. 2016, two paintings with a combined value of over $100 million are recovered after having been stolen from the Van Gogh Museum in 2002. Premiered on September 30th, 1982, Cheers, one of the greatest sitcoms of all time. Cheers ran from 1982 to 1993 and made a total of 275 half-hour episodes across 11 seasons. There were so many good characters in there. Cliff Clavin, Norm, Sam Malone, Frasier Crane, Christy Alley, I liked her in there. I liked B.B. Newworth in there playing Dr. Lilith Stern. Ted Danson's character was great. You know, I didn't like Rhea Perlman's character in there. Just... I don't know. I never liked that one. But other than that, it was a great show. Born on September 30th, 1957, Fran Drescher. She was nominated for two Emmy Awards and two Golden Globes for her role, Fran Fine, on The Nanny from 1993 to 1999. Later, she had a reoccurring role on Happily Divorced and The Fran Drescher Show. Her film roles include This Is Spinal Tap, The Beautician and the Beast, and Jack. I remember her from the movie The Hollywood Nights in 1980. One of her first roles, well, it wasn't even really a role. She had done some scary movie type things prior to this, but she was on Saturday Night Live as an extra, as a concert goer in 1978. Died on September 30th, 2017. We lost Don Malarkey, paratrooper who was a member of Easy Company, the subject of the miniseries Band of Brothers and a recipient of the Purple Heart and Bronze Star. He's actually an Oregonian. He was born in Astoria, Oregon in 1921 and died in Salem, Oregon on September 30th, 2017 at the age of 96. He and his wife, Irene, were married for 58 years. She died in 2006. Don Malarkey graduated from Astoria High School in 1939. He was Irish, if Malarkey didn't tell you that. He worked on fishing crews on the Columbia River. He was volunteer firefighter and was in his first semester at the University of Oregon in the fall of 1941 when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. He went down and signed up for the Marines, but they wouldn't take him because he had some dental problems. Then he tried the Army Air Corps 
And so then he was finally drafted in 1942 and volunteered for paratroopers for the United States Army after reading a Life magazine that showed paratroopers. Now, on the Wikipedia page, it said after the death of Paul Rogers, who was in the show Band of Brothers, or at least they, he was one of the people in it, or in the book they talked about, uh, Malarkey became the oldest surviving member of Easy Company until he died on September 30th, 2017 of age-related causes. But just the other day... I heard that one of the guys had just died and he was the last surviving one, but he wasn't one of the ones that they talked about in the movie, but he was part of that unit. So I don't know. All right. That's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day and be nice to each other.